Right, so hello everyone. Um, back today to do a video. It's the first video in months. Um, I was hoping to do my pop in the box video, but unfortunately it has not arrived, which I'm very sad about. I've seen all these videos, um, but mine's not arrived. But what I thought I would do, since I've had an enormous mail, mail call of comic books, is do a quick unpacking of these. Um, because I thought it'd be fun. And it's the first video I've done where I've actually looked at the camera in years only two years very long time um so yeah let's get started ripping some tape off and opening these up uh so the first comic i've got is group number four um i've been collecting these i'm really bad i collect the comics and I'm, then i'm really bad for reading them because i'm really reluctant to take them out of their plastic in case i damage them or spill something on them or bend the covers back but, um yeah that's that one then next, oh, this is where this is. This is where comics are a pain. I probably should have undone these off camera and then shown you because they're not very easy to get into at times. Um, so the next one is ooh, very well done. Up, uh, is Howard the Human, which is part of the Secret Wars collection. My boyfriend and I have decided that we're going to start um, collecting up all of the um, Secret Wars. I've been collecting. I've been collecting Thor's, I've been collecting um, all the Deadpool ones, um, Kitty Pride and Star-Lord, and there's another one, I can't remember what it is, um, that I've been collecting, so we've now decided that we're actually going to try and get the entire um, Secret Wars collection, so um, it's going to be quite a quite a mammoth collection once we get it, and we've decided we're going to store it in all the Collector's Corpse boxes, which will be kind of cool. Uh, so the next package, these are all off eBay, um, I was buying them in Forbidden Planet, but a, the comics are a lot, lot more money, and also they don't come bagged and boarded, so it's just a lot more expensive to do it that way. Obviously, if I've missed a comic or I happen to go in there and there's one or two that I, I want, I will pick them up um, there and then, but for my bulk of my comics, I'll buy them all online, um, because otherwise it becomes so, so expensive. Ooh, I've messed up. This isn't a comic. This is actually a book. Um... This is my partner's. This is actually his book, not my book. Um, he's been collecting all the Ultimate Graphic Novels. He didn't start at the beginning. He managed to buy a set of like 40 off eBay. Um, but now he's up to date. And this is The Fear Itself Part 2. So um, I'll have to apologise to him for opening his post. Oops. Um, the next comics uh, I have are... Oh, we take the cardboard. Some of the um, companies package them so well so well others not so much so the next one is um, Batman Arkham Knight I've got a feeling this is the last one in the collection and this is actually based on the, um, the forthcoming video game no I'm not a gamer I don't like video games at all don't play any PlayStation the only video games I play I play some Wii which consists mainly of bowling <laughs> I play a little bit of PlayStation 2 which is worms <laughs> um, and then just phone games on my phone the only console i actually own of my very own is um a master system and i love my master system olympic gold but no don't do any playstation 4s any of that sort of game haven't got the haven't got the inclination the patience or the ability to learn all the controls so um but the main reason i get this is because it's got harley in it and harley is my favorite dc character <laughs> um so the next one in a very flimsy little packet is oh, oh it's got two boards i forgive them it has got two boards so while it was only a flimsy packet it shouldn't get damaged some of the bags they send them in are very loose i don't like these loose bags um and this one is batmite which is i guess it's dc's um take on little x-men and little avengers so it's it's a mini it's a mini batman i think i think there's six in this series so this is number four and then my last comics, well, there wasn't really as many as I thought, it's a lot of packaging for not a huge amount of books, but um, my last one is, what is my last one? <laughs> Hank Johnson, Agent of Hydra. Um, again, this is a Secret Wars one. I think this is a bit of a, a bit more of a tongue-in-cheek one. Um, and I wasn't, I was going to wait and get 
I ended up paying full price. I was going to try and wait and see if it came down in price. Um, but this one seemed to be getting really expensive. There was this one for three ninety five, and then after that, I think it was something like six ninety nine, seven pounds. So um, I did grab this one because it seems like it's going to be one that's going to get harder and harder to find. Now I think we're going to find a lot of the Secret Wars that we haven't got um, relatively cheap. I mean, we bought a pack off um, eBay. I think we paid something like two pounds and a two pound postage for eight comics. So it's going to make them a lot cheaper than buying them when they're released. But for certain ones, I think they obviously had a limited run. I think this is one of those. I also think the Howard the Human one is one they had a limited run on. So, um, so yeah, there wasn't actually as many comics there as I thought. There was a lot of packaging for five books and my partner's graphic novel. So <laughs> maybe it wasn't worth doing the video after all. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video um, and I will see you all soon. Bye.